good morning guys it is monday january 21st we have numbers of 21 and 16. actually we've got an extensive amount of numbers in the skies today 21 is expressing your authenticity it's harmony uh, about being independent and 16 is like uh, awakenings uh, information download psychic download okay so you could be coming up with some interesting ideas today and we also have we have three thirteens okay so there's huge transformation taking place today okay and we also have eight 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 so that that again is something that's going to make a lasting impression whatever downloads and transformations that take place today we also have two fifteens which is about needs giving care, um, healing, and we have 14, which is the number of social media. It's about changes, boundaries, confidence, surprises, and gifts. So a lot of things happening in the stars today. A lot of those extra numbers are transits. We have Mercury opposing North Node. We have Mercury conjunct the South Node. We have Mars squaring Saturn. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have a grand fire trine involving the moon in Leo, Venus in Sagittarius, and Mars in Aries. Okay, and the grand fire trine is about having higher perception, intuition, and inspiration. It's also getting up and going, <laughs> getting your butt moving. It's called the flame of initiation. Okay, it's that fire that's being lit under your ass, <laughs> making you move. Okay, so let's see what what's the energy for the day. Oh, so immediately the seven of wands came out. Um, yeah, <laughs> courage, standing your ground, being brave, um, standing up for what you believe in. And the very next card is the nine of pentacles. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Seven of Wands, courage, standing your ground, asserting your boundaries, okay? It can also be about somebody blocking you or you blocking yourself. And this is like a physical blocking, somebody moving to get in your way, okay? But you're not going to, you're, it's forcing you to make a decision, okay? Do I do what this person wants or do I take care of myself? So there's going to, it's like a, having to make a decision here. Do you go with the flow and give somebody your energy well let me ask you this question is your cup full okay do you have enough energy invested in yourself okay so you might have to tell somebody no thank you um or you might have to turn down some kind of invitation or if somebody asks you for help on something you may have to say no thank you if in fact your cup isn't filled but i see here that you are taking care of yourself you're getting the rest that you need and you're trying to take care of your own needs. Okay, so you may be able to help somebody. Queen of Wands. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, uh, with the fire trine, the grand fire trine. The Queen of Wands is Leo energy. We just had the full moon in Leo. So, three, three, three. This is about inspiration and healing and confronting problems head on. And setting an example through healing. Okay, living your best life. Standing up for yourself and what you believe in. This all smacks of inspiration and confidence, okay? I want to say Leo energy, but we have that grand fire trying to. So there's quite a bit. The moon in Leo, Venus in Sagittarius, and Mars in Aries, okay? The grand fire trying, the moon in Leo is about expressing yourself with confidence. It's very loyal and loving. Um, it's also sexually charged uh, energy and it is inspirational energy then venus in sagittarius which is about expanding expanding your love or expanding things in your love life venus rules money values finances and pleasure okay and sagittarius sagittarius is about happiness expansion growth um luck and then we have Mars and Aries, which is uh, action, drive, ambition into making changes. Oh, beautiful. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I know I had two other cards fall out, but this one, of course, caught my eye. The Wheel of Fortune is you just fought, 
you just fought the final boss and now you're moving to the next level. This is one door closing and another one opening. So something is completely over. Maybe somebody depending on you or maybe the fact that you have to keep defending yourself and something could be over. Somebody could be getting past something that's allowing you to truly be yourself. Wheel of Fortune has one door closing and another door opening. What's opening? Wow. So we've got the nine, excuse me, the nine and the ten of pentacles. This is also abundance, okay? So there's, there's a lot of abundance coming. Wow. It looks like things are going to get rolling now and all the planets are direct right now. Uh, for a little bit until Mercury re goes retrograde. When does it go retrograde? I don't know. I haven't looked past the transits of next week. I'll be sure to let you guys know. That's for sure. Um, because that energy can vibrate out three to five days before it actually turns retrograde when uh, we start feeling the shadow. But for right now, all systems are go. Okay. I know Saturn's been putting the brakes on us. We want to go, 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 go. But a lot of us were restricted from going anywhere because we didn't know where we were going. Okay, we know we want it to go, but now we have to have some idea of where we want to go. With the new moon in Capricorn, a lot of us have figured out where we're headed, and we're still trying to create the steps to get us there. Okay, so with this grand fire trying, this is like, you're at a green light, your brakes are locked up, and you've got to review exactly where you're going before you make an impulsive move, okay? think This is thinking before you act but being having a fire lit under your butt being compelled to move forward so you better get to thinking and get clear on your goals and the steps to get you there at least get clear on the first one to two steps okay so you can do something instead of just putting one foot in front of the other walking into the unknown i mean we're all walking into the unknown but you got to kind of know are you going to go left right forward diagonal <laughs> you got to know which way to step right Ace of Swords, this is new beginnings. It's also communication. It's truth and clarity in communication. So somebody here is recognizing the truth of some matter. That could be what the Wheel of Fortune is. Somebody here could also be recognizing that they can now use the law of attraction. They're starting to believe in it because they played with it. They've toyed with it. They've uh, exercised it a little bit. And now they're starting to dig in and understand that they can do this, that they can create. The, the truth is that we are all wealthy in some form or another, okay? And when you can come from a place of gratitude, knowing that you have true wealth already and that you are everything that you need, okay, you can create. And somebody's watching you, okay, because you are an inspiration here, the Queen of Wands. They're watching you be independent. They're watching you be self-reliant. They're wondering how you do it. They know that you use the law of attraction. And they're beginning to see something in it too. The Ten of Pentacles is like divine protection too. It's being covered no matter which way you turn no matter what happened you always seem to get a handle on it like money will literally the opportunity for money will literally drop into your lap exactly when you need it but you have to believe some of you guys maybe um may have been wondering in the last couple of days or so am i really doing the right thing Am I going where I'm supposed to? Oh, beautiful. Am I going where I'm supposed to? It's like um, a smidgen of doubt. <laughs> a smidgen of doubt. Okay, but <clears throat> you have to just talk to yourself and say, hey, look, I know who I am. I, I have no reason to doubt. Okay, these, these things cross my mind. I'm only human, so I'm going to think that way. But the thought did cross your mind, but you did not panic. You did not grab onto that thought, and you did not buy into that fear. These are just random thoughts that used to come up all the time. And what we're working on is uh, getting rid of those judgments, right? 
being confident in ourselves. That's what Leo is. Leo is confidence. That's why they flirt. That's why they need a lot of attention. Um, they like it. This is looking at, look at me, 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 me. So there may be actually people looking at you, 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 watching what you do and how things work out for you. Okay. You've got some beautiful cards here. Yet again, a nine of, uh, excuse me, nine of cups, nine of hearts. This is emotional fulfillment. So somebody here is doing right by themselves. They're pretty blissful. Um, and I can see that all over my Facebook page. People are getting happier and happier. And you know what they're happier with? Themselves. <laughs> they're loving themselves. The star. Okay, so whatever you may have recently gone through, there's definitely some healing going on, healing from some kind of emotional trauma or drama. This is healing after the issue. This is also Aquarius, and it also represents your wishes okay so somebody here is manifesting they're really manifesting it's like they're putting all their energy and their heart and soul and it looks like it's gonna they're gonna man manifest something okay your wish is granted and the wheel of fortune okay then you have the ace of swords maybe you wish to learn more maybe you wish to know more maybe you wish to have more maybe you wish to be more Okay, maybe you wish to know what you're doing. <laughs> maybe you wish to recognize the areas where you are unhappy and with the fire trying today, you might be closing a door and it's definitely something that you wished. You've recognized for a long time. You've held the truth back to, uh, from yourself, but you are now taking care of yourself. Okay, you're doing right by you you're doing you okay you also have the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles is abundance also but this is like new beginnings in finances this could be communication of a job or communication of some kind of windfall this is like a gift it's like um it's like winning the lottery or inheriting something. It's not necessarily something you work for, but at the same time, it could be an opportunity for work. And now this is something new. Maybe a new project is being brought to you or it's a reward. It's a reward from the heavens. You see how they're holding the pentacles in their hands? It's like here, you're covered, okay? Why are you covered? Because you're doing the right thing. You're taking care of yourself, okay? And you're also taking care of others. You are love, okay? And when you come from a place of gratitude, when you can act with kindness and compassion, you will be rewarded. Gorgeous cards today. Now, I had somebody tell me the other day, well, this didn't happen to me. You said it was going to happen in your horoscope. Well, I have to tell you guys, first of all, the horoscope is general. And, uh, excuse me, second of all, if it didn't happen, that means somebody's doing the work and something, a type of trigger may have been overcome. So there was no aggression because the other person is working on it. And that's how you can see that there's progress without seeing that there's progress <laughs> okay it is general i don't it's not based on any signs it's based on the transits and the energy of the day <laughs> so if it so if something didn't happen it may not have affected uh it may not have affected you or that person according to your natal chart this could still happen and this could still not happen if the other person is in fact uh ascending Okay, so we've got two things right away that came out upside down. Wheel of Fortune and the star had the Eight of Cups reversed on it. Eight of Cups reversed is something coming back. Something that you had to sacrifice 
is coming back. This is the lucky return card. I know we've been getting six of pentacles lately and we've also been getting eight of cups. But when it's reversed like this, once upon a time, you may have had to let something, somebody, an idea, a person, place, or thing, or an animal go, or an object. You may, you may have had to let your last $20 go. Um, this is such a wide... Uh, this is a wide field in possibilities of what these things are. This could be like, um, hey, if you wish the lava's coming back, then the lava's coming back. <laughs> if you wish you could find that ring that you lost five years ago, this could possibly be a ring that you lost five years ago. If you had an animal that disappeared several years ago, this animal may be coming back. I had a girlfriend recently, um, she'd moved away from the island and one of her neighbors where she had lived had trapped her cat and let them go out on the lava, Kalapana site. And two and a half years later, um, actually last week, she got this phone call. Somebody had found the cat and they'd read the chip. It's been two and a half years and the cat was out on the lava for the longest time. Now, long story short, it ended up sad. They were able to get the cat to a vet, but the cat died. Um, very, very sad. This woman was working on making arrangements to have her cat shipped to California while it was waiting at the vet, and the cat didn't make it. But I'm just saying, you know, and she she didn't get to say goodbye because she's unfortunately off the island. But, you know, this is something that you had to sacrifice, whether willingly or unwillingly, coming back to you, okay? And that's because you wish for it. It's like I wish I could have my doggy Kala back. And uh, I wish I could have all my dogs back. I wish every dog that was ever lost could be found right now. I wish every dog and cat and pig and goat and every animal that's lost, I wish they could find their way home. Okay, so Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. <laughs> but, but we have Eight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so eight, <laughs> eight of Pentacles is about working hard putting your nose to the grindstone and getting some work done. This could be research. This could also be your daily work schedule or your daily schedule, how you work things out. But it's, it's reversed. It's like, it's either hard to concentrate right now or you're just kind of bored and you need something new, a new challenge. Oh, maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is some kind of new challenge coming back. Something you touched on previously but couldn't get into because you were overwhelmed or your plate was too full. Maybe you're going to get an opportunity to do that again. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles, Eight, eight House, this could be... Um, Maybe some of you guys have picked up on astrology. I've been noticing that there's a couple of people on my feed and they're now giving like daily forecasts. Today the sun is in Aquarius and blah, blah, blah. Um, I, two people on my feed have started picking that up. And there are a couple of transits that have made people interested in it lately. But the eight can be about research and obsession. Okay, so somebody could be giving up obsession. <laughs> somebody could be having a hard time researching. Or they could be approaching a subject lightly and taking a little break. <coughs> we got two eights reversed. Okay, so some, somebody might be... Uh, they might not be able to contain their excitement and, about something and, and have a hard time concentrating um, because this, has come, this person, place, or thing has come back. In fact, they might want to take off work if something or somebody does come back. Interesting. This could be like a relative visiting that you have not seen in a long time. Or this could be somebody who went to the military and now they come back home and you're like, oh, hell no, I'm calling in sick to work all week. We're going to go have some fun, that kind of deal. Okay, Eight. <laughs> we've got two eights upside down. So this is a, uh, this is a huge comeback is what it feels like. Beautiful. And now every time I see the sun and the moon in here in this deck, I see they look like eclipses every single time. 
See, see the eclipse over here? So something, and it definitely spoke to me. See the moon? See the moon? We just had the full moon in Leo last night, okay? So for some of you guys, there may have been a secret uncovered during this eclipse. The moon is about healing, okay? So we got double healing cards. There's an extreme amount of healing going on, and this is emotional healing, but it could be physical as well. Um, a lot of people are recovering from colds also. So if you were sick, which I think uh, last week we had one reading in which somebody was down, they, were, they weren't able to take care of themselves. So maybe you're feeling better, and it's like you're, you're uh, back with the vengeance. <laughs> Okay, working on that law of attraction to manifest what you want. You may, be, you may be taking it easy. You may not be so serious at work. You're back at doing what you love because you had to put it down. Okay, that's probably what this is. <laughs> you were sick or incapacitated in some kind of way. And you're like, oh my God, I just want to go back to work. I'm so miserable. So some of you guys are back at work, but taking it easy this time, not not feeling the stress of your day-to-day -day schedule it's like you're so relaxed now which is good i mean you don't want to stress on the little things but also you don't want to stress on the big things also you have to believe in yourself and have faith that if something isn't happening there's a reason for it and it will happen exactly when it's supposed to okay because you asked for it <laughs> you know the moon is also um besides being something coming up from the subconscious it can also be dreams. Some of you guys may be having dreams and where you get to revisit a loved one again, where somebody who's passed on, who's been in your heart, who's been on your mind, you got to say a final goodbye in your dreams, or you at least got to talk to them and tell you how you feel, or you just got to talk to them. So some of you guys may be having dreams about people that have passed on and you've been wanting to talk to them. So that was nice that they paid you a visit. Okay, I'm gonna pull, well, I'm pulling that card, obviously. I'm gonna pull a couple more cards after this go around. We're gonna tie this up. Ooh, I smell garlic bread, yum. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Mm. Oh boy. Okay, so somebody's... Maybe you didn't have to walk away from something. You kept believing and you kept having faith. If this was a relationship, you may have bit your tongue. And glossed over a situation in which you should have stood up for yourself but coming from a compassionate place this may not have been the time to say anything or you didn't feel it was warranted or you're believing the opportunity to say something will come up okay so this is oh oh boy <laughs> um this card the five of cups fell out on the eight of cups reversed okay so somebody may be getting plagued by ghosts from the past okay this is disappointment this is baggage so somebody may be going over some baggage and that may be why they can't concentrate on warp because these ghosts are working their mind um yeah i think in the horoscope it did come up and maybe it does have something to do with this dream Okay, maybe they dreamed about the past, about this past love situation, whether it was a partner, whether it was their parents, whether it was, uh, I just went completely blank. <laughs> okay, but basically it's issues from the past are still coming back because they haven't been purged. They've just been squared away for a minute. And I think recently, although a lot of people were having issues with their baggage, 
for a minute we had a break with the Capricorn energy. We were all able to work and get some things done, but nobody really wanted to meditate. It was hard to find a minute to be by yourself and quiet your mind. So maybe somebody's way of healing is they're reflecting. They think they've had these dreams. Now they're thinking about it. Maybe they're connecting... Maybe they're connecting these past disappointments to their present some way. Hmm. Well, I do believe I said that Mer yeah, Mercury is opposing the North Node and Mercury is conjunct the South Node. So people are thinking about their karma. It's like reminiscing. It's shoulda, woulda, coulda. Uh, thinking about things emotionally, okay? It could be an additional lesson of sacrifice, but this is... The sacrifice card is reversed. So I think the sacrifice situation already happened. Okay. And then what we have here is the thinking rationally and logically and building strength. Okay. So somebody is working their way up to dealing with something. Queen of Pentacles and it's this way and it's reversed. Okay. Right. Very good. Okay. So keep coming from a place of compassion. Uh, come from a place of gratitude, be generous, be kind. This is good fortune, and it's due to excellent management here. Okay, so somebody's doing real well on the work front. They're watching their dollars, but at the same time, they're being generous, and they're covered. You've got a lot of pentacles. You've got, nine, you've got eight, nine, and ten of pentacles. You also have the eight. You have the star card of wishes. You've got two cards of emotional... Uh, Two cards of emotional fulfillment and the Wheel of Fortune, which is saying that basically you're rolling into this attitude of gratitude. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. Love you. Take care.